Welcome to painting your alebrije with acrylic paint. So in our last lesson, we were making an alebrije out of aluminum foil and masking tape. Hopefully you covered your whole tin foil uh, skeleton for your alebrije with tape and you had a pretty smooth surface. The smoother you can get it, the easier it will be to paint and get ours to look like this. So before we get started, you'll need to get your materials. As you can see here, I've got a couple different colors of paints and try to get bright colors. I have a container for my water. And that's so I can rinse out my brushes whenever I need to change colors. I have a little plastic tray. You can get something out of the recycle bin uh, for your paint tray. That's where I'm gonna have my colors. And I can mix colors there too. I have some paint brushes, some thin paint brushes, tiny ones, and I have a, a paper towel. And that's for testing out my brush to make sure it's clean. Let's get started. So now I have my uh, framework for my alibrije. I'm gonna get my paint, and I'm gonna start with my lightest color first. Since I'm going to make my whole body yellow, I start with yellow. But whatever you want the largest part of your alebrije to be, whatever color, then paint that first. So most of my alebrije is going to be yellow. I paint that first. And this may take a while. Just take your time. Try to cover all the cracks and... Cover all the surface as much as you can. This can be kind of easy because it doesn't matter if you cover too much, right? It's fine. You can cover the whole thing. No big deal. All right. After you do that, we're going to move on. Uh, as you can see here, I added my green next because the, the next biggest part of the body is green. And this is how I'm going to clean out my brush. I'm not going to smash my brush into the water. I'm going to actually stroke it along the bottom like I'm painting the bottom of the cup. And then I swipe it on the edge. And now I test it on the paper towel. Looks clean. I'm ready to add my next color. I'm putting in red. And where's the red going to go? It's going to go on the spikes and in the mouth. So let's do the mouth real quick. This can be kind of tricky. So I used a pretty small brush here. I just want to paint the inside of the mouth and not the outside. So be very careful. Use small touches. Oops, I went out of frame. So here we go. There's the mouth. I'm just dabbing at it a little bit at a time. Making sure my brush doesn't go too much on the outside of the mouth. And let's see, let's do the spikes. And before you paint uh, a, an area that you've already painted, you should make sure that it's dry. Uh, if you have a, a hair dryer at home, get an adult to help you and you can actually dry out your the Brihe's paint a little faster that way, but don't do it unless you have an adult to help. All right, so there it is. That's most of my red. Now I want to add some dots. I'm going to use the handle end of my paintbrush. So I'm going to dip the end of my brush and just touch it to the paper. There we go. We've got dots. The more I touch it, the smaller the dots will get. So I might have to reload my brush with some paint there we go putting those dots on and i'm going to continue doing that uh i did that for the eyes as well i used my white paint for the eyes and i'm going to add the teeth in that same tech uh, using that same technique or in the same way little dots on the edge of the mouth for the teeth again don't forget to let your paint dry before you 
uh, paint over it with more paint because if you mix the paint the the white paint and the red paint while they're still liquidy then it will just turn pink and you won't it won't look like teeth it'll just look like a watermelon all right and i go all around the mouth so next, I'm going to just add dots to the rest of the body. And I'm trying to look, make it look uh, very similar to the one that I have on the table there. Mine's going to look a little bit different, though. I won't have it exactly the same. All right, so now that I have my very light colors, I'm going to add some black now. And the way I'm going to do that, first I'm going to do, I'm going to put the eyes on my Alibrihe. This is fun. You get to see what your Alibrihe will look like, what their expression will be. Let's see. I'll put my eye on the back of the eyeball. There we go. Ha! <laughs> he looks very excited. All right. I do the eye on the other side, and then I'm going to add some details in black with just the brush. So I clean off my handle. Load up my brush with black paint. And let's see, I've got, he's got a black ring around his neck and he's got black lines on his legs. So I'm gonna add, oh, and on his tail too. I'm gonna start with the tail. These little lines, they could be stripes or they could be wrinkles. I decided they were, some of them were stripes and some of them were wrinkles. I wanted to give the front legs kind of a tiger stripe look. So these are going to be more like stripes on a tiger. And you may remember from our introduction that the alebrijes, they have uh, parts that look like all different kinds of animals. So this one's head is kind of snaky. Uh, his front legs are gonna be like tiger's legs and the back legs I made look kind of chickeny. So this is what it looks like in the end. Let's compare them. There's the, the authentic alebrije is on the in the back, the smaller one. And there's my one. I got the tiger tail. All right, so I hope you had as much fun as I did making this. And please make sure to send me a picture. Show me what you made. I will be so proud to see what you've got. Good luck and have lots of fun.